Today we're going to talk about uh, the setup of my EQ6 Pro in the observatory. Uh, with the LX200 being uh, a bit of a problem in terms of some of its uh, guiding issues, uh, I've got to dismantle that and uh, have a look at those issues separately. So in the interim, uh, I'm going to set up the uh, EQ6 Pro, uh, which has been sitting in the garage uh, like most other stuff for a good 10 years. Uh, I bought this second hand. I've never actually really used it. I did set it up once and um, uh, make sure it worked, uh, but that was about the extent of it. So this device uh, comes with that um, black um, I guess a little pier in the middle there uh, on top of the tripod, uh, which is an additional uh, thing that came with uh, with it when I bought it, which is actually really good because instead of just mounting on the tripod, uh, this little pier extension is uh, going to prove useful to uh, setting it up in the dome. So I was able to uh, dismantle it and this is what it sits in the base of the uh, tripod. Now that's upside down. And you can see that there's some uh, screw holes on the sides. Uh, and that center shaft uh, would take the, uh, the shaft uh, from the bottom of the tripod that would hold it down. Uh, unfortunately, it's a different size to the one that uh, the Mead uses. So that's uh, how it would be oriented under normal circumstances in the, um, in the top of the tripod head. So uh, that's the base of the pier. Uh, you can see the three holes that it would normally uh, get tied into. Uh, and this is the top part. Um, that of well, it's the, so it's the bottom of the mount, and so that's what uh, goes into the top part of the pier. So this is just as I dismantled it, uh, what uh, it looked like. So the top part has three holes in it as well, so that just uh, allows us to um, put that in. So that would be the orientation as it would be normally in the tripod um, and that's how it would sit in the tripod like that uh, so what the plan is though is to mount it the other way um, sort of effectively invert it um, and use that um, so we were going to do that uh, but that center, uh, I guess, uh, hole was not going to be the right uh, size. So what we ended up doing um, is effectively, I'll just skip over a couple of photos here, was a friend of mine, Andrew Johansson, uh, actually milled out out of a piece of scrap um, uh, a new base uh, and a spacer um, that is in the middle there. Um, so I'm going to zoom in a little. So th this was milled out and a spacer was put in and a nut was put on the end, which is the right size for what would normally be attached to the Mead um, uh, tripod. So effectively it is set up uh, the same way as this effectively, uh, but with a, uh, a new um, 
a new uh, plate at the bottom instead. So uh, effectively I was able to not have to do anything uh, outside of just screw this in, uh, tighten up the bolts on the side, uh, and then mount this on top, um, which was really pretty straightforward. So we've I've got a side-by-side -side system set up. So that's the ADED on the left and the short tube 80 for guiding on the right uh, on a side-by-side -side, um, setup. Uh, there, so that makes it a little bit uh, more difficult to, uh, to get everything running correctly and balanced, but uh, this is going to be the new uh, imaging rig effectively while the uh, main LX200 is out of action. So I was able to then use um, the guide scope, uh, the 80S short tube 80. Uh, it's got a focal length of 400 mil. Um, and use that uh, to polar align. So I use the ASI 290 um, for that. Uh, in fact, no, I didn't. I, I, I was in the interim, I used the 1600. So I was had that hooked up to the main scope uh, and I used uh, SharpCap and its polar alignment uh, routine to uh, to calculate and, and manually adjust uh, the RA and deck um, uh, mount adjustments to get it polar aligned. So if you believe the, uh, the numbers that are here, well, I don't know. Uh, it at least is, <laughs> it's close enough for the things that I'm trying to do. Um, so I was able to also, uh, when I got that set up, I set up the, uh, the camera, the imaging camera with a 21 mil spacer and, uh, William Optics, uh, 0.8 reducer. Uh, so this will flatten out the images and stop the coma effect that I was getting on some of the images, which, uh, I have cropped out in some of the images that I've taken so far uh, and just trying to also uh, make note of the uh, where the focus point is on this which was about 67 mil according to uh, the one I found focus. So that's uh, the imaging rig as it stood um, uh, when I first tried to get it running. So um, that is the setup of the EQ6. Uh, looking forward to getting some imaging done with it.